act three, scene three of Tartuffe, Elmire invites Tartuffe to sit down with her. He asks about her health and says he's been praying for her recovery. Elmire explains she wants to talk with him about a private matter. Tartuffe happily misunderstands her words and makes a passionate declaration of love and desire. He promises he'll be discreet and offers her love without scandal, pleasure without fear. Elmire asks what he would do if she were to tell her husband of his offer. Tartuffe hopes she'll be forgiving and remember he's but flesh and blood and not blind. She offers to keep his secret if he'll advocate the marriage of Valère and Marianne. In Act 3, Scene 4, before Tartuffe can respond, Damis bursts out of his hiding place and announces he will tell his father everything he's heard. Damis is pleased to see his father enter the room. In this scene, Moliere again draws on the comic techniques of farce. Elmire tries to speak directly and plainly to Tartuffe, but instead uses ambiguous phrases, resulting in misunderstanding. When she says she wants to discuss a private matter, she means a private family matter, Marianne's engagement. But Tartuffe can easily misinterpret this as a private liaison between himself and Elmir. When Elmir says she hopes Tartuffe will be unconstrained with her, she means she wishes them to have an honest discussion, but he can easily interpret it to mean he will cease to be constrained by social mores or even constrained by clothing. There's also a great deal of physical comedy in scene three, with Tartuffe attempting to touch Elmir as she tries to avoid him at all costs. His extended declarations of love are full of exaggeration, and he tries to make his very physical desire for her seem to be born of religious fervor. In his attempt to get Elmir to satisfy his desires, Tartuffe shows himself to be all the vile things Cléant and others believe him to be. When Damis pops out of his closet, just as was foreshadowed in scene one of this act, he throws a tantrum and ruins the plan.